Yo, what's going on, folks? It's me, Justin. And today I'm going to be talking about my entirely newbie approach to programmatic SEO. Somebody asked on Twitter, they said, hey, do you have a, a video about your approach to programmatic SEO? And I said, no, but I'll make you one tomorrow. Even though I have a road trip here in about an hour, um, I'll still make this video. Got a Halloween party I got to attend out of state. Uh, so this is completely, uh, again, newbie. This is half for me and half for you half. So I can look back at your now and go, Holy smokes. I didn't know what, I, what I was talking about. <laughs> or I can go, Hey, I was on the right path. What have you? Um, whatever. Let's begin. So why programmatic SEO? It kind of, it, for me, it helps scratch that new itch or that new site itch of like, Ooh, Oh, I, I stumbled upon this keyword. Let's see what I can do with it. Um, so it goes from, you know, registered domain, write 10, 20, 30 articles, and then realize it was a terrible idea and you should have just stuck with your, your old project. Instead of that approach, it goes, all right, I can register no domain and then create thousands of pages in like a few days or a week. And, and then it's it. My, 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 my itch is scratched. Uh, if it, if it works, it's going to work very well. If it doesn't work, oh well, it didn't take that much time or effort. With how I'm doing this. Um, so my approach is volume and speed. I, I want to go fast. I want to go hard. <laughs> uh, I have a picture of spam there because I think a lot of people would consider this. Spam. I would consider, I mean, <clears throat> I, I, I've always contended that there's no such thing as white hat SEO because SEO in and of itself is a manipulation of search results. Therefore to, to be good at SEO, you have to be doing something that's not necessarily white hat as it is now. So there's, <clears throat> even if it's doing, I mean, keyword research, looking at competition, see what they wrote. That's, that's, in and that's, that's, that can be considered black hat spying on the competition. Yeah, that's not, <clears throat> that's not, that's not white hat anyway. So again, volume and speed, I want to publish a lot very quickly. So yeah, these, these, these aren't, you know, uh, what you would consider, you know, high quality articles could, but they're not just articles. Typically I'll include a tool or some kind of other element that people can interact with or use. Um, the one or two reasons really for that one, again, it's, it's, it's not just a basic article. So it doesn't, the, the, the appeal of the, let's see, the intent of the search is not necessarily to read it. The intent of the search is to find an, uh, find an answer. Sometimes that answer isn't written. It is, uh, calculated or, uh, I don't know, discovered, we could say like a quiz or a calculator. Um, and you know what? Hey, my education can't be black hat, right? That's, that's, that's my, that's my overall, uh, outlook on this is I can't, you cannot do SEO offline. You cannot do it in a bubble. You have to create and put it out there. And I figure the faster I can get this stuff out and the faster I can figure out what works, and what doesn't work, the faster or the better I'll be off in the long run. And then if those pages, if a page doesn't get indexed or whatever the case is, or it's, it's, it's thumbs down. All right. Then I can just delete them and just delete and move on again. It, the time it takes, the time it would take somebody to write two articles, I can blast out 40,000 pages. Uh, there are some things I do stay away from mostly health and like life and death type things, not necessarily your money or your life. Um, yet I, maybe I'll, I'll create a YMYL type programmatic site in the future. I didn't say maybe because I, you know, I will. Um, but more along the lines of like, uh, Sammy SEO, I actually have his, like his site pulled up right here. Cause I was reading over his, uh, five part, uh, at the time of this recording, uh, programmatic SEO build kind of pseudo in public, um, posts he's doing like, uh, this is, this is public. So it's not like, I'm outing him or anything. One of the things is like, can pets eat whatever? Um, and I do not want to put out something that if it has the potential to be incorrect, it could, or if it is incorrect, it has the potential to, uh, kill something. <laughs> like I don't want to be, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. So I just don't mess around with any kind of 
nutrition or whatever can but anything else sure go ahead taxes taxes <laughs> life insurance whatever uh i'm with it so that's that software use right now as of right now it's google sheets slash excel and wpl import and that's really it uh there it, right now again right now that's what i'm using at first it was google sheets and like um Pably, which is a like a Zapier alternative, using that to try to push from Google Sheets and concatenate and all that kind of stuff. You don't even do any of that. Google Sheets for data, WP all import, and you can do like the Mad Libs um, import of content uh, all in the software. So that's that. Soon I will probably be implementing and using uh, you know the AI writer tools, and this could be Jasper. It could be. Uh, open AI straight from there. And I found this really cool in integration with that, that plugs in, um, open AI, their API with, uh, Google sheets. And I, I, the code is simple enough that I being somebody that doesn't know how to code at all, or, you know, I know, I know this much about, um, coding. I can go in there and, um, edit the, the code, um, to make it work for me. Um, so that's very lovely. I tweeted about it yesterday. It's out there. Uh, it's, I think it's called like keyword magic or something like that. Had to do some slight manipulation with the code, um, to change it from like Da Vinci to one of the lower, um, engines because what it's doing is not necessarily, you know, the most advanced stuff. Basically what it does is you have, a every single row or every single column has a, I don't know, a, a thing, uh, a, a title we'll say. And then the left-hand side, the, the rows have, uh, Jesus, what am I talking about? It basically tells what is X of Y, uh, that is the default. And just, it plugs in those two and can't concatenates vert really those two phrases. So you can do like, uh, <laughs> What is Mickey Mouse's favorite and then color and then food and then whatever. And then I'll use the AI to generate a response for that. And typically it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty accurate, but, uh, you know, it's more, more kind of fluff stuff. So thinking around that again, Jasper, that could be something where, uh, maybe can generate, you know, 20 sentiments about, uh, a software. Uh, I, I, I really like using blah, 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 because X, Y, Z, and then take out the actual software name, use the concatenate to plug that, like whatever software it is. And then, or probably not that, but it's like, uh, do something like why you like using it. It helps me get the job done better. And then have it plug in Jasper helps me get the job better. Python helps me get the job done better. Um, and then create like 10 or 20 different sentiments like that. Um, Jasper is really easy to use. Python is really easy to use. And then just have it generate kind of a mixed bag of testimonials. Anyway, thinking, thinking about stuff, whatever. Uh, and also, uh, at some point probably got to learn Python and or JavaScript, JavaScript, just, uh, to start getting in with Google sheets and writing scripts for that. Like, Again, looking at the GPT-3 integration, it's like, oh, this is not terribly difficult to do. Um, hooking up APIs and all that kind of stuff and, and figuring out how to do all that. Uh, Python for web scraping. I do have, I tried to teach myself Python a few years ago. It didn't go well. I've had this book on my shelf since like 2012 uh, when I was still in the military. That's when I started trying to learn. Introduction to Python programming and developing GUI applications with PyQt. I it's there. Hello world. Anyway. Uh, so the process that I have right now, it's first find a large data set. Um, there's, you know, there's plenty of places to find data sets. One thing that I guess I'm, I'm trying to do right now is not necessarily, ne not necessarily have the data set be the information, but use that as a as the spine, as the backbone to what's going to be created. So the first site 
uh, was I had a list of every single college in the United States. And I said, okay, what, what things could relate to every single college? Uh, and then I went and created something for that. The second time around was uh, just a list of every single city and state uh, in the United States. And I said, what can apply to all these places across the board, full stop. I have an example at the end um, to try to, you know, give you some idea, an idea that I wouldn't implement, but perhaps you could. Um, but I'm thinking just, again, big, bigger, bigger, bigger. Um, some people want to fill out that information. I don't want to do that at this point. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, like uh, Sammy SEO did with the, with the Ken dogs eat blank and then have to go in and, you know, do, do either scrape the web or go find that information manually. I don't want to do that yet. I want to, I want to go big. I want to go fast and I want to get shit done in like a week and not a month. Uh, keywords, keywords. I don't, I don't care about keywords. Uh, the first site was based on one keyword or like a few keywords that were extrapolated. I said, okay, if these, if these searches get, you know, 800 per month and these ones get 600, I'm guessing that, you know, with the size of those colleges and that volume that these smaller colleges will probably get, you know, 10 to 20, hundred to 200, whatever. And I was like, I don't, I don't. And at that point, again, because I'm not doing any work outside of creating the thing and then publishing, you know, I, I'm not like, there is no additional, like, okay, I need to, I need to pick the most popular, um, keywords first and then fill all the information for it. Since I'm not doing that, I don't need to, I don't care about keywords. Um, it's, I know this gets, I, I would imagine this gets searched a lot in big cities and a little bit in little cities and that's okay. Again, because I don't have to create each individual page. I don't have to go and find that information every single time. All I have to do is create the page. So that that's the approach. And I figure, you know, the thing with like the whole volume thing and like uh, big lots, lots of pages, whatever is let's say, let's say things pop off. Let's say shit happens and it, it's like the best damn resource online and people love it and it's shared and bookmarked and oh my gosh, if I only have 20 pages up that were created, well, there's a limit there. You know what I'm saying? But if I have 40,000 pages that are created, well, <laughs> that'll, that'll be a lot better than 10 or 20. So that's the, again, that's again, going back to like the second slide, first slide, I'm still learning. This is still learning. But one of the things that I kind of told myself a long time ago was if I'm learning something to make money in, in an effort to make money, I'm going to put out my my uh my learnings if that makes sense uh example uh when i wanted to teach myself how to use like illustrator and uh photoshop a long time ago don't know why uh, i think i had uh, a class for it or something i don't know i wanted to i wanted to get better graphic design clearly that's working but i was like you know what every single thing i create when I'm going through these tutorials and figuring out, oh, here's this, how this tool works. I'm going to take those designs. I'm going to put them on print on demand sites, Amazon merch, T public, Redbubble, all those print on demand design sites. So I did, and I was in 20, like 17, summer of 2017. And they'll still bring me a couple hundred bucks a month for, from the most basic Rudy Pooh ass, literally text, black text, white t-shirt, one word still making sales today. So yeah, I, I, I want, I'm just want to put it out there again. If, if, if stuff gets indexed and start popping off, I'm going to win big. This is, it's not necessarily a gamble. It's still just me trying to learn uh, the process and learn how to, how to make it better and do the best thing I possibly can, but I'm not going to not put out the level one stuff, even though I'm trying to reach level 10. Anyway, so publishing it, <laughs> that was a, that was a long, 
Is that a diatribe? I don't know. Uh, publishing. So again, it's all written in WP all import. Uh, at first I was creating things in, in Google sheets and writing the posts in a cell in Google sheets and then importing that cell as just the content. But you have to deal with formatting and all that stuff in Google sheets. You have to worry about the HTML. You have to worry about the, uh, if you're using Gutenberg, the block, everything. Whereas if you just do it all in WP all import, you click through, I think my next site or the next, I don't have a next site idea yet, but my next site, I think I'll just do it entirely all in public. So everybody can just see like, this is what it is. Record the whole process from start to finish. This is what it is. Um, so it's all written in WP all import. Uh, I like to include a video. I, I have to include a video and this is basically the same video for every single post in the future. Again, the next iteration, I might do some variation and have, uh, you know, five or 10 videos I just cycle through. So there's some, some, some difference, uh, between posts and pages, what have you. I also like to include a, some kind of additional element. It's a calculator, a quiz, whatever. Um, like the example, uh, it's the job board, something that is more than just written text because everybody's not everybody, but most people stick to just written text. And that's, that's cool and all, but by just adding one little thing that nobody else really thinks to use or knows how to use or, or create, you, you, you kind of build up that moat, you build up that, hey, this is better than all the other ones because we included this. Uh, something, something simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. It could be, it could be a, a poll. I don't know. Just something where there's some interaction with the page. Um, and then monetizations right now it's display ads and affiliates. Um, really, I think there's really not much monetization because, well, shit started two weeks ago. Uh, and now I'm the foremost expert. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think there's, they're making some display ads, but I'm having real trouble, uh, getting display ads, um, on the first site, not really trouble. I'm just getting it with, uh, Ezo. I could, I, I had a third party that cause I got denied for AdSense. Understandable. Uh, so I was like, all right, I got to find an alternative. And then I reached out to Zoic and they're like, oh, you actually don't need to be approved for AdSense. You just got to be approved for ads manager. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. So I don't know, uh, a whole process, whatever. It's made some money, some pennies, but not a lot of pennies. Uh, so, so that's it. Is that it? Oh, no, a bad example. And I forgot to change the symbol at the bottom. Oopsie. So there's a bad example of a page. And the thing with examples for like programmatic SEO is like anything you say that's a real example can be used and created pretty damn easily. Maybe not easily, but you know, it, it can be created. So here's a bad example. Uh, say you had a job board. I want to create a job board for the construction industry, right? You create 40,000 pages, construction jobs in city. And again, I, I say this is a bad example because if you do a search for that, um, you'd get you the first thing you'd see is on Google would be the job uh why is this I'm drawing a blank here. The the job uh special SERP thing. Um so you do, I mean so it's there. It's already there. So you might be able to rank for that, but actually you probably could be able you probably could rank for, you know, construction jobs in, in city. Um but anyway and what I, what I do is, you know, I'd have a slight blurb at the top. Hey, are you looking for the best construction jobs in Akron, Ohio? Here they are. <laughs> and then I'd have the, like the job board search element, assuming you had, you know, your website was job board. I'd have that on the page with those parameters already plugged in. So when people came to the page, they'd see all the jobs that you had listed on your site in Akron, Ohio. And then, you know, an off chance that you didn't have, you know, any jobs in Akron, Ohio on your job board, you know, you could always, uh, partner up with some of the like bigger job boards indeed. Uh, and I think they offer like, a CPM and or CPC, um, 
basically, you know, just, just display ads slash affiliate partnerships or partnership or just partnerships in general, um, with other job boards to aggregate and to, to pull that data in from their job, um, from their job board and yours. And then when people click through and apply, blah, blah, you get So there's that, I mean, somebody could do this. I mean, again, it wouldn't be difficult. Um, probably cost with job board software, depending on what you go with. If you don't know how to program your own, it run $150 new website, it's $15, you know, $165 to experiment this. And then maybe some slight, uh, maybe some, some PHP stuff, uh, depending on how like that job, actually, no, you probably, you could probably, yeah, you could do this with a short code, depending on what, uh, job board you're using. It would be, you know, it would all be done depending again, depending on what job board software you're using, you know, in brackets and the short code, WP job boards, uh, comma, and then it'd be, you know, search city. And then you just plug it in fr uh, from the spreadsheet. Boom. It's in there. And then when it's generated, it's generated and boom, it's there. And it's exactly what they're searching for. The intent is fulfilled. That's it. That's what I mean. Boom. You're done. Uh, and I think I'm done and again. I think my next site, I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know what it is yet. I I'm entirely whatever. Um, my next site, I will look into actually doing it like live, like, Hey, here's, here's what I'm doing. Here's exactly what's going on. Here's the data set. Here's the website. Here's the page that's constructed. Here's everything. There you go. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we might do that. So there's that. All right. Peace.